Hi, I'm Denise Guerra. I'm Francisco Gonzalez. And I'm Christina Mendez. According to Webster's Dictionary, a group is defined as two or more more uh, figures forming compl a complete unit in a composition. In this training, we will demonstrate how to use active listening and emotional intelligence to lead to a successful group communication. Now that, now that you are aware of the topic, let's get started. Group communication is a collection of three or more individuals who interact about some common problem or interdependent goal and can exert mutual influence over one another. There are two surefire ways to achieve good group communication. For one is active listening. By listening effectively and making sure we understand our group members' ideas, we can have a successful project. Being an Active listener is one of the most important skills while working in a group. Active listening makes it easier to build relationships with your team members. You'll want to start by putting all distractions aside, such as cell phones, game devices, earbuds, or anything that could possibly distract you. Make sure you are focused while others are speaking. Ask questions and reflect on the ideas being presented by your peers while making eye contact and good body posture. This shows you are listening and are interested in what your group members are presenting. And for two, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to be aware, control and express your emotions within a given situation. This skill is especially important, important when working in a group. You will want to be self-aware of your feelings and be able to manage how you react to others in the group. That's great, Denise. Thank you. Okay, guys, so now we're going to, now that we covered the theory, let's practically apply it. We'll be performing a short skit for you. How's everybody doing? Hey. Hey, Christina. Hey, have you guys seen the COVID cases? Oh my God, it's going crazy. It's booming. They're going the up like crazy. I know, it's nuts. There's just so sure. many cases. And people need to start staying at home. <laughs> yeah. Not yes. us, we've got to work. Yes, I know. So are we ready to talk about the presentation? I'm ready to brainstorm. Me too. Okay, so the presentation is about a marketing, uh, about marketing a new fitness product. I think we should first start with a uh, target audience, to be honest. I think that's a great idea, Francisco. Okay, so who do we think our target audience is, guys? I think we should aim for the younger crowds since they are the, uh, the ones who work out the most. I disagree, Denise. I think older people are trying to stay in shape too, you know? I hear you, Francisco, but I really think we would, we would affect a bigger group by aiming by the younger crowd. Okay, so how about we compromise and aim to reach a general audience instead? This way we can include both young and older individuals and we'll also, it'll give us a larger demographic. I think that's a great idea, Christina. Great, I can handle the introduction and create a shareable document that way we can all work on it. That sounds perfect, Denise. I'll get to work on the body of the outline and I can create a video template too. For sure. While you guys work on that, I'll design some logo ideas and work on the conclusion. Awesome. That's, That's great. Good, guys. All right. You've just seen how good communication works, but how about when it goes wrong? Poor communication lies at the root of the problem. It can lead to mistakes, quality problems, conflict, missed deadlines, and loss of opportunities, right? There are several problems that could arise from working in a group. I'm gonna give a few examples. For the first one, we're gonna start off with, a group member isn't interested in cooperating if it's not listening or participating in the group assignment. For number two, I have group members make assumptions about the process and start working on the project without clarification. For three, I have, there is a misunderstanding regarding what is being discussed. This is a big problem that occurs in many group communication. And for number four, I have, there is a lack of trust between group members our final one would be number five. There is a tension and conflict within the group. That's great points, Francisco. This is significant because 
in all aspects of our lives, we have worked or will work within groups. Whether it's with family, school, or work, we are put in group situations working towards a common goal. If you can master the skill of active listening, you can master the art of group communication. And once you master that, you can apply it to work, school, life, and anything beyond that. So to sum up, we've talked about the concept of group communication. We've shown you a video of good group communication, given you examples of possible pitfalls of poor group communication, and some encouragement for the future. We hope you've gained a better understanding of effectively working in a group, and we hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.